DoorDash just released a new feature that could help you pad your pockets. We've all been there, sitting around in a parking lot, not seeing a single order for 30 minutes at a time, questioning our life choices, stuck in our own head, praying that we get an order to keep ourselves occupied. Nobody wants to sit around for 30 minutes at a time without seeing any orders, and DoorDash might have a solution for that. They're now letting drivers switch zones mid-dash. Pause the video and let me know in the comments section if you've seen this in your market yet. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank Kevin T. from Philly, one of my earliest subscribers, for sharing this and for allowing me to pass it on to you. If you've watched any of my earlier videos, you'll know that I'm not really a fan of DoorDash. In fact, I'm highly critical of them in almost everything they do. So, what about this? Is this actually good for us? Or is it just another piece of DoorDash junk? Before I give you my take on this, I want to address something. Yes, I'm critical of DoorDash, but I also like to think I'm fair, and I always will call it how I see it. If something is trash, I'm going to tell you it's trash. If they're lying to you, I'm going to tell you they're lying. But if they do something beneficial, I'm also going to call that out too. And that's the case today. I don't see a single problem with DoorDash telling drivers mid-dash that there's a busier area near them and asking if they want to switch zones. Hell, I've given that advice numerous times. Play around in your own market, figure out when and where it's actually busy. When your market is dead, sitting around in the same parking lot for hours on end isn't really going to do you any good. Here's the thing. Hundreds of you, like hundreds and hundreds of you, are telling me that you're seeing what I'm seeing in my market. That all of the apps are slowing down. With summer coming up, it's not going to get any better for most of us for several more months. So, this change is coming at a welcome time. If you're just sitting around not getting any orders and DoorDash tells you it's busy somewhere close to you, why wouldn't you want to switch? It sure beats waiting around in a parking lot not getting anything. Those of you in bigger markets with multiple zones are far more likely to see this than somebody like me, whose market is literally one zone. The next closest zone to me is about a 20-25 minute drive, so if they made it worth my time, they pop that message up and said, hey, you can extend your dash 6 hours and there's $4 peak pay, might be worth it. DoorDash has been busy. They're reworking their driver rewards programs, they're messing with the completion rate requirements, and now, seemingly, they're letting drivers switch zones, so at least they gave us something positive in there. I want to hear your thoughts. Tell me about your market, how many zones you have. Do you think that this is a good thing for drivers? Let me know in the comments section. I want to thank Kevin T. from Philly again for putting me onto this. Several of my recent videos are the result of somebody getting in touch with me and saying, hey, this is what I'm seeing in my market, and this one was no different. If you're seeing something new, unique, or weird in your market or on your apps, get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. You can reach me in the comments section, my Discord server, and my Instagram. The links to those are in the description. If you haven't done so yet, please do consider pressing the like button and subscribing to my channel. My name is Zach. Take care.